It's early Sunday morning, market day, and Kevin and Hanan join many others on their weekly shop. But top of today's shopping list are the ingredients used in the preparation of lamb. For in a few days' time, it is the greatest celebration of all. Today we've been to the Sok of the Lahad Garabea, that's a, a market on the countryside just on the outskirts of Alsina. Uh, it consists of uh, like all the farmers and all the families that, that live in the countryside, they come here to this place. We have uh, one uh, day, special day, that the people they go to the market to the marketplace uh, for to do some shopping that they do it for the week for the whole week and it's beautiful there because you get uh, everybody bringing their own stuff that they the grow countryside. build do have whatever and uh, you'll find anything anything that you really need. want or need you'll find it there. And what I like best is for my daughters to see this kind of market. This culture. This, well, it's it's, it's this uh, culture. the Moroccan culture and it's deeper and like going back in time. Back in time, why? Because, well, you've seen it, you've seen it. The, the vegetables, the smells, the colors, the, the uh, you go to a European supermarket, you see uh, a box of tomatoes, they're all the same. They're all twins and from the same family. You don't see that here. They've got all, all different kinds of shapes, colors, but, Taste it, smell it, and you yeah. see the difference. And all the vegetable is uh, 100% organic. organic. No because chemicals. the people they 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 use the the old uh, the old uh, way to grow the vegetable here, and everything is natural and lovely. No chemicals. No. That's the beauty of it. Yeah. Or like dry. Or like dry yes. Today in the in the market we got all the basic spices to and ingredients for the different the variety of dishes that we're gonna do with the lamb. So we've got all the basic stuff ready and hopefully we'll make something really nice and tasty for you to to see because you won't be able to taste it or smell it.
after the Ramadan, after the Ramadan of uh, two months, we do two months and ten days. We do the the feast of the Cordero. The, the feast, feast of, of the Cordero. Cordero. Ibrahim had a recurring dream in which God was commanding him to offer up for sacrifice his son. Although Ibrahim was ready to sacrifice his dearest for God's sake, he could not bring his son to the place of sacrifice without his consent. Ibrahim presented the matter to his son. Ishmael replied, Father, do what you have been commanded. You will find me, inshallah, to be very patient. Mickey is unlike most of the men I've come across in Morocco. He works hard. He doesn't pass his time sitting in a cafe, contemplating, smoking and drinking strong black coffee. He is a doer and the go-to man in Asila. Mickey has agreed to help us prepare for the feast. He takes Hanan, Rashida and the girls to Tangiers, where they buy dried fruits, an essential part of every meal, yet especially so when cooking lamb. And this is canela. That is comino and pimiento. Eid al-Adha, the festival of the sacrifice, is a religious holiday celebrated by Muslims worldwide, and it has coincided with my visit here. I'm extremely excited about this. I've heard so much about this celebration, and now I'm finally going to experience it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Hanan wants to buy some new dishes for our party. My excitement is building as it approaches, yet this feast of thanksgiving holds extra significance for me, for it will be my very last day with the Barodi family. A bittersweet ending to my time in Asima. <laughs>
The sheep is chosen. This nine-month-old animal will be sacrificed to God in thanksgiving. Every Muslim family shall be doing the same thing. Needless to say, it's a great time of year for breeders such as Muhammad. Prices for sheep soar and they can cost up to 1,200 dirhams. This is approximately 100 pounds. But considering a family can feast on a lamb for a few days, it seems more than reasonable. As the deal is done, and our sheep is tied to a tree in Kevin's backyard. The reality of what we're about to do sets in. The butterflies in my stomach are no longer ones of excitement, but trepidation. Thank you. 